Hey, how are you, YouTube? Well, I'm finally getting around to doing the videos for the Sir Walter match. Uh, we are through Area 6. Um, we're going to post that one next. I posted my little short where the uh, open gun is got the racker is ready to go. I think I'm going to shoot that Sunday here at Harold's uh, Pineland Pistol Club. They have their little local. It's really close to my house, so I shoot that often. So I'll be there. Um, other than that, I shot the X5 at this match. This was our tune-up right before Area 6. Just wanted to focus on being consistent. It was an okay match. I had one of those stages, <laughs> one of those fun, awesome stages here at the end, you'll see. Um, but we started on stage three, but I'm going to start you guys on stage one as per our normal. Uh, man, these people put on a fantastic match. Uh, shout out to Garrett um, Beaker, otherwise known as Beaker. Um, and also, speaking of that, uh, I love input from you guys. And uh, to the fella who uh, gave me the input the other day, he said I should have black eyes because I beat myself up so bad. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, maybe change a little bit about how I uh, address some of these stages because I do tend to nitpick. But I feel like finding out those little small weaknesses are really where it's at as far as me getting better but i do appreciate the feedback and i am going to try to speak better about myself perhaps uh so shout out to you thank you i really do appreciate it stage one a uh, hit factor of 4.7831 this is one of the last ones we shot time was 17.98 14 alpha 5 charlie and one delta uh this is also using those um uh, little tiny three moa uh, RTS twos, which I got fixed. I got the 10 MOAs in today. I, I zeroed those. They're awesome. Perfect. That should take care of our little issues that we have. Um, but with this stage being lower round count, I wanted to just try to get hits with no makeups. I did that. Uh, went really well. So, uh, here we go. Let's get at it. Are you ready? Stand by. Clear. Clear. Right, guys, stage number two. Uh, not really a whole lot to this stage. The one interesting part was the middle section where you kind of had to move around to get some of the targets to appear and disappear. Uh, the entry on that position was pretty awesome too. I, I liked it. It was a fun stage, but it wasn't too complicated. Stage two was a hit factor of 5.3152, a time of 16.18, uh, 14 alpha, five Charlies, and one delta. We're going to fix those deltas with these sites, I think. Uh, just being able to see more a little easier. See more with the Seymours. <laughs> Here's stage two. Are you ready? Stand by. Six one eight. Are you ready? I think the second shot is the perfect. Damn it! The first shot, I think I did the mistake. One thing I didn't see that I saw in the uh, third person was I got jammed up on that barrel a little bit. Just. Not good positioning. Uh, one thing I will say about this match is I was really happy with the way the gun tracked. You could see it. It was just like, boom, 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 boom. You know, the gun fell really good. I wasn't trying to force it down or anything like that. It was super natural, super comfortable. I liked it a lot. Felt really good. I was really happy with that. Stage number three is the one we started on. Um, one of the really weird things about this stage is, is when I drew to the first target, like no dot. 
I don't know if I just, it was just a weird angle and I didn't have a good index, which is probably what it was uh, because the dot was there for the rest of the match and for the matches subsequent after that. So not quite sure what happened there. Stage three, hit factor of 6.9899, time of 15.88, 21 alpha, two Charlie, really happy with the hits. A uh, really cool part about the stage was the activator. Went really well. I thought I did that sequence real well. Um, other than that, man, I was real happy with it. Like this, this wasn't a bad match at all. I, I really did, uh, really was happy with the way it turned out um, performance wise. All right, here we go. Stage number three. Are right, you ready? Stand by. If you were finished, I'm like, let's hang down. Holster. Couldn't have found my duck. Are you ready? Stand by. Right. Stage number four. Uh, had a no shoot trying to move on that crazy <laughs> far no shoot. So they were trying to get us ready. There was one unloaded start, uh, unloaded gun mag on belt uh, start for area six. So uh, that, that, that led to a bigger issue in this match you'll see on stage eight. But uh, this was an unloaded start, first mag on belt. Uh, and I tried to move all through that middle array, even with the no shoot. Called the hit. I knew I got the point plus the no shoot, so I just left it and kept going. There was no need to make it up. I saw exactly where it was, but it made me a little gun shy on the no shoots on the end of the stage. Um, so, you know, again, that's what I uh, need to practice more. So here we go. Stage number four. Oh, sorry. Hit factor of 5.1417, a time of 1906, 18 alpha, six Charlie, and one no shoot. Let's get it. Are you ready? Stand by. Damn, no yeah. shoot. Are you ready? Stand by. All right. Stage number five. Uh, hit factor of 4.6993, time of 30.43, 27 alpha, six Charlie, and one no shoot. Uh, so the hardest part about calling your shots, especially when you hit a no shoot, is forgetting that you hit a no shoot. So it really does throw off the timing on the whole stage. So you can see I went for a reload and I shouldn't have, so I stopped myself, I came back. Uh, and then I was late on my actual reload just because my mind was on the no shoot, I did call it, didn't make it up, no issues there. Uh, so it wasn't a mic, but I uh, just couldn't get my mind off of it. It's hard, it's hard when you're in a stage because it throws you for a loop every single time. Um, so it takes some discipline for sure. But anyway, this is our big field course, so uh, let's go. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Stand by. <laughs>
Stage number six was a speed shoot right before the classifier. Uh, hit factor of 4.9125, time of 14.86, 14 alpha, one Charlie, and one wall. So, I'm sorry, Robert. I apologize you <laughs> to you for shooting your walls again. Uh, it was right on the edge. Just couldn't help it. But I went back and made everything up, and uh, it turned out okay. Here we go, stage six. Bye. So again, that uh, stage six was an unloaded start. And actually at area six, when we had that stage with the unloaded start, same thing happened. Put the mag in the gun, pulled it back, slide lock back, and I had to, to hit it again. I think I might be bumping that uh, slide catch with the way I'm doing it. Not quite sure. I'm, I can't repetitively make that malfunction happen, uh, but it happened on that stage, and it happened at the one on Area 6 you'll see in the, in the next video coming in a day or two. But anyway, Stage 7 was our classifier. Goofed that up pretty good with a mic and a no-shoot. Uh, 3.1616 was the hit factor time of 8.54, which is pretty good time. Eight alphas, nine Charlies, one mic, one no shoot. Uh, shots were crap, but um, other than that, everything else went decent. I mean, it is what it is. Like, just treat it like any other stage. Try to go as fast as you can, as accurately as you can, and, and see how it all shakes out. So here's stage seven. And bye. Did the same damn thing he did. Okay, here's that one stage. <laughs> one stage per match, right? Stage eight. So we started out, it was the wrong start position. It was supposed to be one of those unloaded gun mag on belt starts. I started with the gun loaded. We all did. The whole squad did. We didn't read. We didn't pay attention to the uh, stage briefing. <laughs> they went from print it to uh, on the tablet, and we just breezed right over it. Not intentionally, but we did. So I shot it once the wrong way. Pretty decent run. One certain stage plan. Second one, I shot the stay, same stage plan, and, and Mad Matt Madsen... I uh, got in my damn way on purpose. Yeah, he wanted to beat me bad. So he got in my way, screwed me up. Should have just tripped me. It would have been better. Wouldn't have wasted the ammo. So he got in my way on the second reshoot. Then we had to go reshoot stage one or shoot stage one. Then we had to walk all the way back up after the match and shoot it again. Then that time I was like, man, I'm bored with shooting it that way. I want to shoot it this other way. And I forgot a target. So I had an FTSA and two mics. So anyway, it was fun. I got to shoot the hell out of the stage. So enjoy the shit show. <laughs> Are you ready? Stand by. Clear, clear, hammer down, holster. Are you ready? Stand by. Oh, 
Sorry, man. There's, there's... <laughs> I'm gonna have to reshoot it. <laughs> Are you ready? Stand by. <laughs> Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Stand by. Wait, it's clear. So, Matt got me good, didn't he? Yeah. I'm going to get him next time, though. So, 7th and 27th, uh, it was a fun match. I was really happy with the way the gun tracked. Uh, my movement, I felt really happy with. Points, not so much, but I really do think that's optic-related. Now, with the 10s, I do think they're going to clean up. We'll see tomorrow or Sunday. Actually, we'll see. Um, but then, after this match, it was off to Area 6. So, I will post that video uh, probably in a day or two. I'll post that one, and uh, that went really well. Like, I was really happy with that. We didn't have one of those stages, <laughs> which that's awesome in itself. All right, guys, glad I got to talk to you. I hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.